Hey everyone, it's been a bit since my last tablet review video, and if you remember, I said I was going to create a follow-up video to my first one with my thoughts after a few months of using it. Since enough time has passed, I'm glad to start this video. For those who didn't review my last tablet review, a representative from Gaowan reached out to me and asked me to review one of their newest tablet models, the PD1610 2.5K. In the first video, I went over the unboxing, listed all of the items and features, and showed a brief setup of the tablet. Since this is a follow-up, I won't be doing another feature and item list, so go check out the first video if you're interested. However, I will be re-highlighting the cool features of this tablet again. Perhaps one of the most defining characteristics is the 2.5K display, which is a 2500 by 1600 display, as opposed to Gaumont's previous 1920 by 1080 displays. This is Gaumont's first tablet with this great feature, and as someone who's been using it for a bit now, I have to say it's incredible. I can't go back to my old screen tablets because I've been spoiled by the massive screen with this one. Now you might be thinking, Alex, a 2.5K display is not proportional to the 1920 by 1080 display, and you're right. The PD1610 2.5K has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, as opposed to the original 16.9K aspect ratio. That's an 11% difference, and an 11% size increase. It's the only model that adopts the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, and I gotta say, I really do love it. I initially thought I'd be having scaling issues with my drawing canvases since it's not proportional to the original 16 by 9 display, but I haven't had any issues at all. There are zero projection and screen stretching problems, which I was really happy about. Something I highlighted in the previous review that I wanted to highlight in this one is the pen model for this tablet. The pen is truly one of a kind. First of all, it's a battery-free pen, which eliminates a huge hassle when I'm trying to work. Second of all, the pen model adopts the AP51 technology, which basically means that the pen is more hard and more stable. The pen pressure is increased, and your line work will be much more precise. I can notice a considerable difference when I do my line art on this tablet versus my previous tablets. I don't even really have that much of a pen correction enabled within my drawing program. It's such an amazing feature of this tablet, and it's something that everyone can benefit from. I also have a fully laminated screen, which means there's no parallax to worry about. If you don't know what parallax is, it's basically the distance between the protective glass of the tablet and the screen itself. And the greater the parallax is, means the more distance there is between the cursor and your pen, which can cause some lineup issues. The PD1610 2.5K has no parallax, which is absolutely incredible. The next feature is something that I personally don't use since I'm not an Android user, but if you have an Android device, this perk is perfect for you. If your phone supports Type-C Gen 3.1 and DP 1.2, like Samsung phones that support Dex mode, or Huawei phones which support desktop mode, then it can hook up to this tablet. The Gaumon PD1560, PD156 Pro, and the PD1561 can't do that. So this tablet is the first with this feature. Something else that's neat about this tablet is its Type-C cable. If your computer has a Type-C port, like mine, you can plug it right into the tablet to draw, as opposed to its two-cord feature. A video showing right now can demonstrate this. Personally, I'm not too much of a fan of this, since the brightness and contrast on my tablet monitor is noticeably different than if I were to just stick to the two-cable method. But that just might be my computer, so take it with a grain of salt. This tablet also has a high color gamut. Compared to the PD1560 and PD156, which had about a 72% NTSC, the PD1610 2.5K has a higher color gamut, that being 86% NTSC, which is about 120% sRGB, which means the colors are a lot more accurate and they pop more. Another favorite feature of mine is the adjustable stand that comes with the tablet. This is so incredible for your wrist health, and I love that there are three levels that you can customize the height with. A lot of tablets don't come with this feature, and I'm so glad that Gaumon provides this for us. The PD1610 2.5K also comes with customizable hotkeys on the left side of the tablet. On the screen it says what my commands are, but you can make them anything you want them to be. Sadly, I still don't really use them as much as I'd like, since it's pretty much muscle memory for me to continue clicking Control z and other keyboard commands on my actual keyboard, but I'm definitely working on it. And this is definitely, definitely, definitely a bonus of this tablet. And if you act now, you can get a $90 off coupon on Amazon if you click the coupon button showed on the screen. That brings this tablet down to $449 US dollars. 
overall, I really do enjoy the features of this tablet. I've done sponsorships with Gelmon in the past, and I have to say this is by far my favorite tablet that I've ever had, even outside of the Gaumon realm, since I had a couple of Wacom tablets in the past as well. The Gaumon 1610 2.5K really does take the cake in terms of awesome features and value. For comparison, its competitors sell pretty similar tablets for thousands of dollars, so the fact that this one is only a few hundred is absolutely wild to me. I have been using it for a couple of months now and I'm absolutely addicted to it. I've said it before, but I really don't think that I can go back to my previous tablets ever again. This one has just completely spoiled me and I love it to pieces. I know what I said in this review is a lot of technical jargon, but trust me when I say this tablet is worth every penny. It helps my art so much and it helps me as an artist grow and thrive. I hope I can work with Gaumon again in the future because their tablets really are awesome. See you guys in the next video and enjoy the rest of this one.